What's up? Rage Raven 5678 here, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakening. Alright, so last episode, we basically uh, had to play with Watson to get a key to a secret hole in the wall um, where we might be finding out where they're doing, where and what they have been doing to these uh, bodies that they've been transporting. Oh, no! Class! No! They've been taking these guys to school. Alright, Cthulhu school. Uh, ooh, broken tooth, white colored tooth enamel. Tooth of an adult male likely lost in a beating. Only a couple of days old. Alright. Wow. Uh, Sherlock? Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Is it just like... Look at the, uh... What am I looking at? I would've thought the chain would be interesting enough. Oh no, I just need to get even closer. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. The inside of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. Alright. <clears throat> A wax cylinder. There is something recorded on it. The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. Oh, we saw this painting uh, yesterday in uh, Wolf's room. Room. Uh, yeah, poor Wolf, too, man. So, basically, uh, yeah, yesterday we found out that one of the patients that... Yeah, that's essentially what my brain says when I'm try when I was in school and they were trying to give me a math problem. Uh, ew. Uh, ew. A handwritten letter, Professor, trust my guide, the light of the abyss, for he shall enlighten our chosen one. Make sure he, do he is present, and that our chosen utter nothing but the sacred words. And, <laughs> and lo, uh, the trace will begin, uh, and we will be an inch closer to the universe beyond. So I'm just trying to, and lo, Io? I don't know that that I O or L O whatever. Your work is essential, as many of our flock do not speak our language, and time is of the essence. It would be best to work in groups, performing at least one seance per day for a week. Of course, the most skeptical members will have to be tamed by your hands. In the meantime, my work continues on a physical method to maintain the trace state through the emitted light waves of Khalid lenses. Finally, my men in New Orleans will contact you regarding the shipment of the ch of Chosen. Make room for them as you have done before. R. Interesting. And we got a key. Man, do you, do you guys still think we're gonna find Kami here? <laughs> like, seriously, since the second episode, we have been looking for our guy who's been kidnapped by the uh, sailor in his tool shed. So this is a uh, man. This is uh, this is a lot of work just to steal a person, ain't it? So tiny key. We're gonna find out what that unlocks. Uh. A telegram from New Orleans. The bank has the gems. My master has ordered me to send the first shipment of chosen ones. They will arrive within two weeks. Do not fail us, a. Eh? Hey, all right. Uh, let's see, a key found on Professor Gygax's desk in the sub basement. Get the handwritten letter. So we need to find out where this key opens. Um, sub basement contains classroom where people were handcuffed to chairs. The blackboard in the sub basement classroom was white, but it's still possible to make out some symbols on it. They appear to form some sort of phonetic transcription. A phonograph cylinder from some sort of classroom in the lower basement. It holds audio recording. Interesting. 
We just need to find a Looks hello. as if it's been recently used. History Creek. Why did I get that trophy? Learn more about Gygax. Oh, okay. Notebook of Professor Gygax. The new method at last started to show progress. The success rate is 4 out of 10, and the failures are not responding to any external stimuli. Nevertheless, the phonetics or the phonetic system can be declared an undeniable success regardless of their native language or place of origin. Individuals learn to speak the chant without flaw. They learn it quickly and fluently, despite lacking all mental anatomy. Regrettably, one of the chosen continues to resist. Isolation and, dep and deprivation or deprivation resulted in a strengthening of their disobedience. Negotiation only ignited anger, and even after the direct removal of the frontal and temporal lobes, it seemed all that was left was an innate desire to resist. The chosen one cannot be allowed to pollute the minds of the others. The conclusion is inescapable. They cannot continue to live. I will see to it they are sent to the well. Yo, that sounds metal, the well. Uh, and also, interestingly enough, let's reread the second paragraph, right? Because I want to I wanna try to make a connection to this one. So one of the chosen that continues to resist... Negotiation only ignited anger after the direct removal of the frontal and temporal lobes. I imagine this is the brain, right? I'm not an anatomy-ish person, right? But I imagine this is the brain. Do you guys remember yesterday's episode, Wolf? Um, the patient that we, that Watson was talking to that wrote that letter? Remember he had surgical like stuff on his brain? And I, I'm, I'm thinking this is what this is could be the chosen one so this is possibly what happened or what guy gets uh you know did to becker so guy gets must have been in this cult already and she was trying to get becker into it becker wouldn't follow and so guy got performed stuff on his brain and to make him lose all his memory and everything he they learned and all this stuff and now he thinks he's wolf i think that makes a lot of sense Well, we know exactly uh, saying Cthulhu. Uh, it's interesting. The sub basement has a function in phonograph. It is able to play wax cylinders. One of the cylinders bears a recording of a chant of, in an unknown language, a Cthulhu language, obviously. Alright, see. Um. Alright, so one of the rooms in the sub basement is dedicated to surgical procedures. Uh. Yeah. Dynamo machine. Provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Dynamo machine. Provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Full grain leather straps. Impossible to escape. Alright. The chair is used to strap in the patients for a medical procedure. At the base of the chair is a dynamo generator that could provide electric shocks to stimulate the patient. Uh, Alright. A very professional brain dissection. This must be uh, where they go to practice. Uh, okay, before we proceed, let's make sure we got everything up here first. That cannot look any more like a... Uh... Oh. 
like a, I guess, elevator or something. All right. Yeah, I knew we had this other room here. Oh God. Is that the oh. well? Oh, the spell. Ah, uh, man. Body parts. That's hardcore. Judging by the remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. Utterly inhuman. Yeah, that's 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 deep. Well, now we can put them up for murder. So uh, that's that's new. So let's see. We got kidnapping. Uh, is there a thing for like mind controlling people and stuff like that? Kind of like forcing them into your cult and whatnot. Um, illegal surgical procedures. I would say so. Uh, I'm pretty sure doing surgery on other people without, you know, letting other people know is illegal. Uh, murder. Um, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Get out of my head! Your mind fisted to going a Find reverence for the one that dread tremble. The great lord. Left your slender your soul and become a servant. Uh, hello? Please. No more. Stop it. Watson. John. Somebody. Wretched mortal. Do not fear what is to come. Let him rupture our world anew. Awaken and let go. Awaken and... That was intense. <laughs> the light of the abyss is the light from the abyss. Oh. Get out of my head. Wow. Uh, no lie. This room is dope. I like all these light paintings and stuff like that. I like glow in the dark painting or something. That's pretty cool. I'd probably put that in my room. So all this Cthulhu glow in the dark paintings and stuff. Alright. There's a bloody well in the sub basement. It's on many tools. Uh many tools for dismemberment are lying around to the well covered in dry blood. A minor bird has been meti uh, meticulously aha, said that word right this time. Dissected in the sub basement. Uh the bird brain is exposed. A bizarre man was being held in the sub-basement. He vanished without a trace and only left a pounding voice that repeats the light of abyss. The man spoke about strange things and the coming of the great lord. Alright. Um. I don't think we would need to find out where this key would go. Alright. I don't... I guess there's no more, uh... Doesn't seem like there's anything else to do in this room. Alright. I guess we'll uh, maybe check that elevator, I guess. And see what's next. Uh, did something just like fade out or something? Or am I tripping? I don't know if that was a glitch or what. I don't, was that a glitch? I have no clue. I'm going crazy here. Watson? Holmes, what are you still doing here? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I only asked you to find the key. I had everything else under control. Says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. I am fine, Watson. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. I found her like that when I entered, on my word. Oh. What? That sucks. She was our biggest lead. Yet another wrinkle in our investigation. What do we do now, Holmes? Hush. Let me think. Alright. Going to the brain palace. Oh, no. 
All right, let's let's investigate what we got. Maybe it was Cunt. Uh, I, I remember Mr. Cunt. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. Well, one of the ways I would not like to die is getting my is having anything done to my eyes. But if it was to happen, hopefully it would be as instant as hers. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. Oh no. That looks like a patient. The patients outfit. here wear the same robes. Uh, is anyone starting to wonder if this could have been? No. That definitely confirms that it was not Wolf. Heidi, how did she? It end up here. <laughs> ah, I was about to say, Holmes. You're right, Watson. But first, we need to determine where our case goes next. Man, I don't know where the hell or what the hell happened yesterday when it comes to talking to Heidi, but... Uh, yeah. Alright. So we got three green things. Where does the evidence lead next? Um, well, we got some stuff from New Orleans. Um... That's... That's the only thing that kind of comes together. Um, payment arrived. Like her, my first payment arrived from R. Wait, from R. That's A. Sincerely, Joffrey Scott. Hmm. Payment letter. Professor, it's just my light. This is also another letter from R. Boom, let's go. First try. New Orleans and the Oh my god, we're going to America this time. Several pieces of evidence now points to New Orleans. It appears that the kidnappers have enlisted the service of the banking house of E.W. Gray to sell gems. Watson, pack more of your bags. We're heading to New Orleans, baby. Hey, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get some uh, bees down in Bourbon Street. We've got what we needed, Watson. This conspiracy reaches further than we thought. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I seldom do. <laughs> Let's go. There's no time to waste. There is nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Holmes? Hmm? You seem troubled. I'm not troubled, Watson. I am preoccupied. That place was awful. Inhumane. It would be natural to experience some feelings of shock or fear. Men reduced to gibbering imbeciles, numb beyond recognition, powerless to help themselves. When a doctor does go wrong, they are the first of criminals. They have the nerve and they have the knowledge. That woman did not deserve the title. Such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. I knew another man like that once. He treated my mother, perhaps even killed her, depending on who you ask. My sincere condolences. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of the person I recognized, but lacking all else, she was pushed until she cracked. Yeah, man, we're talking about chapter one here, man. Should you see me cracking, John? I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London. Report what we have discovered. Let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. We know nothing of what awaits. What dangers lurk in the darkness? Nonsense. We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will nevertheless be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. So be it. I know you to be a diligent author, but if I may make one request. Kindly omit my mother and her suffering from your tale. Of course. Thank you, John.
Yeah, oh, man, I don't know about you guys, but, like, this kind of, like, these, like, emotional moments and stuff between, like, you know, Sherlock and Watson, bro, it kind of, like, changes the series a bit for me, you know? So, The Outsiders. Yeah, I love this book! This is another, sh uh, this is another book from Lovecraft. That's one of my favorite books, too. Basically, I'm not, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna let you I'll guys go out and read it, but it's a very world. good. It takes Not place from a different point of view than what you would could expect. Certainly use our answers to my questions. I know, but you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over, and not a moment sooner. I shall ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. As you wish. Oi! Stop it, you! Our luggage! Good lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry, mister. It, it was an accident. Right. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead. Oh, I can't change my clothes. Alright. Who is Jeweler Seller A? Oh, yeah. We got nothing, so. Alright. Ah, not an auspicious start, is it? Never mind. I'll handle it. You go on ahead. Alright. We are living in America. Coke, cola, wonder bars. Ramstein fans, anyone? No? Okay. I'm not a Ramstein fan either, but I like that song. The bank holds auction, an auction. The banking house of E.W. Gray will be hosting a closed auction of black opals. The bank doesn't disclose the the origin of the rare stones, however, the bank clerk, Miss Zoe Clemens, has confirmed the authenticity authenticity of each stone. Sure, so we'll just you know we'll just go with what you know one person says. Nymph of Louisiana. What's up, baby? Where yet, gentlemen? Here to enjoy yourselves? Oh wait, oh, that's that kind of boat. Oh, never mind. Bye. Alright. Aw oh, man, yo, this is straight up giving me like Red Dead Redemption 2 vibes, you know? Man, I missed that game so much. It's so, such a good game. Alright, what's up, doggy? Hello, doggy. Black opals being auctioned at the banking house of E.W. Gray. Alright. Banking house of E.W. Gray. Yeah, well, I think that's where we're actually trying to f or what we're trying to find, actually. So, interesting. Alright, it's the Harbor Master's office. Maybe we can get some information from there. Missing person. Missing Sun Tao or Sun Tao 34, last seen in Chinatown, New Orleans Sheriff Department. Wow. Looks like there's a lot of people missing. More people missing here, too. Our ship leaves tomorrow morning. No room for sightseeing then. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to go in here. Yeah, I figured since like usually, um, and one thing I kind of learned about video games growing up is that like if you can't see inside the building, it's because you weren't meant to go inside the building. Got a spot in mind? Actually, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> got a spot in mind, stranger? You gotta know me where to go before you wanna go. All right. Um. See, oh wow, this is like definitely like an open world game now. Holy shit. I, I was not, I was expecting to at least arrive at the house at some point sooner or later. Oh, here we go. Making house at E.W. Gray. Mr. Frank Barnaby, right? Auction's about to start. All 
right. Squints. Myopia. Uh, okay. Well, let me take a second to understand what myopia. Opia. Uh, nearsightedness. He wore a spectacle to correct a mild degree of myopia. Lack imagination, foresight, and intellectual. What? Short sightedness. Very common eye condition where you cannot see object far away clearly. Okay. Hidden tabloid newspaper. Abe Lincoln alive. Okay. Something in pocket, a sandwich. All right. The guard at the bank is a real character storing a sandwich in his pocket while reading Abe Lincoln alive. Makes the guard a paranoid fool with a bad taste. Besides, the man has myopia. The guard at the bank is a real character storing a sandwich in his pocket to save time while reading Abe Lincoln alive. Makes him a critical thinker who questions everything, even the truth. Myopia is a result of constant reading to determine one of health. Um, let's go with critical thinker. In the flesh. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, hold up. Written invitation first. Can I present another piece of identification? Nope. That's why we send an invitation. Move along, mister. Ain't nothing here for Hobbs. you. Close Over auction. Here. Gems sold. Hmm. By invitation only. Any luck? None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby would be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. Alright. Well, this was like Chinatown. Hey, I've actually been to Chinatown and uh, Liverpool. Um, before, so it was quite dead, to be honest. A city within a city. Indeed, those lanterns are delightful. It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. All right. Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Yeah, quite empty, huh? He had it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. Let's see. So, the talk of two angry fellows near Barnaby's hidden gem reveals they might know Barnaby. Don't let me talk to him. Oh, Alas, yeah. I need to pen this. Yeah, I need to pen it, obviously. Is this familiar to you? I'm bone tired, but yeah. I help you. Two gentlemen say Barnaby owes some money. He is a known alcoholic and is currently getting drunk at a local bar called Giddy Gator in the Crow Quarter. Uh, he can be recognized by a yellow hat and a green jacket. All right, nice. I want to imagine this is locked. Locked. No one's here. Is this familiar to you? Yeah, don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Alright, well, I'll leave you to kick in this wagon. I, I guess he gets paid for that. Alright. One thing I would like to try out, though, that kind of interests me. Is checking out China, Chinatown just a little bit more. Because, I would like to know if we can uh, investigate any further with this missing person. May I ask you something? I know a lot, but not this. Alright. By the way, that's the same character model as uh, Gerda from uh, the Asylum. Alright. Uh, maybe we won't be able to... Hello, Dougie. Uh, maybe there isn't going to be a lot with this, uh... This thing. I just know that he was last seen here. Alright. It is what it is. Alright, so now we need to find the uh, quail quarter, or whatever the hell it's called. Um, 
Oh, I think I see how these just split up. Okay, so we need to keep going down here. In order to arrive at the different quarter. Or a different place. Giddy Gator Bar. Ah, perfect. It's just exactly where this we place. need to go. There's a Spartan charm, does it not? It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see um, Cordona a bit, so. Uh, but mostly Red Dead Redemption 2. So, straight up, that that's not going to change it. Well, look at that. Green Harvey, jacket, yellow hat. Unconscious, but with his eyes open. Mr. Barnaby, the banking house of E.W. Gray invites you to participate in a closed auction where uh, we are pleased to present a selection of rare and extraordinary black poles for sale. Please contact our employees to receive more information. We strongly urge you to wear the cleanest suit you have and be sober. Sober. One more unacceptable incident and we will exclude you from our list of buyers. Well, that's probably the only time I would ever think the uh, use of alcohol on anything. Look, Watson, the two of you are just alike. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> so I look like a haggard alcoholic. Now, that's, Eureka. <laughs> that's not the point. An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. And we'll just need a Watson. Holmes. Yep. Watson, time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. All right. Where's my cash, Frank? In a bartender's tip jar? <laughs> I love the accents here. I mean, I, I've never been to New Orleans personally. Um, I would love to go someday, but... Where's the money, Barnaby? I love the uh, voices. I'll wait here so as not to arouse suspicion. First, you gotta know where you want to go before you go, stranger. Mr. Barnaby. R right you are. Shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir. Here you go. You okay, sir? Seem to have the jumps. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm in a rush. Uh, come on in. All right. Heavens, I never seen gems so big. I simply must have them. Like a Paul, Australia, forty crazy. Okay. A space rock that fell into Earth. They're so black, it's like they absorb light. Rather hypnotic. Are you able to help me? I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. Sorry, I'm just dealing with another client's request. Please wait a moment. Australia, another thing that from Australia. Okay. Hmm. Pieces of evidence are leading to the banking house UW Gray. There will be an auction. Okay. This might be useful. I'll make a note. Alright, so a plague with philanthropists. Banking house of UW Gray thinks to his fine philanthropist. Dillard, we've got Arnson, Atkinson, Carter, Chambers, Clemens, Engel, Harnett. Hmm. So we're trying to figure out who this A could be. The only people we have with that starts with the letter A is uh, H E J, the Lord French Quarter, and St. Thomas. Okay, just gotta keep a note of that. Morning, sir, and welcome to the E W Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. I do have some questions, if you don't mind. 
These gems are rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. Forgive my curiosity, but who was the previous owner? Sir, I ain't at liberty to disclose them details. It doesn't say where these stones came from. No provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were illegally procured. What? We would never. I can assure you these gems were bought from one of New Orleans' most upstanding citizens, a philanthropist no less. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't think you'd sober up for the auction. An hour ago, you were three sheets to the wind. <coughs> oh, well, uh, you know, I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business opportunity. An important business opportunity. Ha. What have you done with the real Barnaby? <laughs> well, maybe I'm drunker than I thought, mister. Mister? What's wrong, Frank? You're looking pale. Don't you recognize your old pal, Grub? Please don't be Sherlock. Oh god, please do not be Sherlock, because this would be the best fucking disguise he's had in any games he's ever been in. Large wool hat, oversized. Sheriff, position of power. Okay, I don't think this is Sherlock. Proud or poser, golden revolver champion. Cares for appearances, luxurious title, tile, polished nails, fashionable, hates getting dirty. I'd say a fashionable menace, maybe, but let's let's keep reading this. <clears throat> Sir Grave is actually barking is actually a barking toothless dog. The man attempts to make the impression that he is an important figure in the life of New Orleans. However, he is just a small cog in a governmental machine. In fact, the sheriff feels so uncomfortable and displeased with this role that he may try to compensate with ridiculous tournaments, fashionable looks, and threatening behavior. Wow. That sounded really personal. Sheriff Grubb is the law in New Orleans. He's fairly eccentric, looking after his nails, appearance, and image. However, he is just a cover for his true nature as a remorseless and high powerful individual in a local community who uses his image to distract and disguise his true nature. Let's go with that. Of course I know you, Sheriff. Good. Now, while I have you, there's the matter of your outstanding fines. I've been more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Right. Uh, I I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? I weren't born yesterday, Frank. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. Look, Sheriff... I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud? Impersonation? That's weasel behavior. And you know what we do to weasels round these parts. Feed them to the gators. So, Frank, what's it gonna be? Here's all I have. I cannot believe my man just got robbed. Mighty fine of you. The people of this parish deserve peace. They don't take kindly to visitors. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning, doctor. I cannot believe we just got robbed <laughs> in New Orleans. Uh. Well, that would piss me off. I told you, Holmes. I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah. All that matters is what you learned about the gems. I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. All right. Oh, man. Wow. 
I honestly have no I I honestly I don't have anything to say. There was like that was a lot to go through, but man, that was a uh, I guess that's what we get for being really risky, you know? I mean, we're playing into someone else's life. We have to go through their consequences. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're going to dress up as someone else, you got to you got to prepare for to you know, to have the consequences that they made. Uh No. No. Was that your luggage again? I don't understand. We you just got, it got to be kidding me. What the hell, man? What is wrong with you? The pox on the crew. Oh, bollocks. Now our clothes are in the blooming water. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. With respect, miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, we would have. But where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, miss. Well, it's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. John who? Watson. Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit, or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. Alas, I think one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. Oh, <laughs> you got yourself in a fine pickle. All right, come on board the Nymph of Louisiana, and I'll sort you something to wear. The Nymph? Is that what it sounds like? <laughs> Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the sheriff. The way I see it, this city deserves better. Now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barterby is proving rather useful. You're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the sheriff. Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Oh, go annoy someone else while I visit the nymph. <coughs> all right. Wow. I actually, honestly, I did not even know that we were going to be playing Watson as much as we are today. This is awesome. Um. I would have honestly thought this would have been more like a, uh, you know, like maybe a few five minute parts and stuff like that, and that's it, considering, again, this was a Kickstarter uh, goal. But now I'm so happy we've reached it, like, even more happy now. Well, look at you. All dressed up with nowhere to go. I can't thank you enough. As I was saying, our journey has hardly gone to plan. We seem no closer to finding our missing people than when we left. Hmm. Well. If there were anything to know, Champagne will know it. She's across everything in New Orleans. Look for her in the Fisherman's Village behind the Creole Quarter. Thank you again, Lucy. I shall make my way there now. Good luck, Johnny. Keep out of trouble. American Jacket America. All right. Yeah, I say we really fit in with the uh, New Orleans now. Oh, forgive me, Watson. The difference is plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. If we're critiquing wardrobes, Holmes, maybe you can explain why you used to roll just one sleeve up. Did you get bored halfway through? Damn. That, that damn. <laughs> why do you just roll one sleeve up? You just get bored. But no, there's a certain style to it, because I'm, I'm totally not saying that just because I do that too. All right. Uh, Lucy said that Champagne knows everything in New Orleans. She lives in the Fisherman's Quarter behind Quill Quarter. So we'll be going back to where we got the, uh, outfit in the first place. Pianos and organs. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I have to say, man, between this game and, like, the other Sherlock games, th this is a nice change of pace. But, like, I wouldn't mind, like... You know, I wouldn't mind if they if they delve into a little bit of uh, of the you know supernatural a bit, but as long as they keep the uh, you know the spear of Sherlock, you know, like keep you know as Sherlock has said, you know, everything done with uh, with logic and stuff like that, like logical meaning behind it. As long as they keep uh, that going, then I'll be good with that. All right, so we found the fisherman's quarter. Now we gotta go find champagne. May I ask you something? I've heard about that. Let me tell you. People have said that Champagne lives in the Fishman Quarters in a hut on a boat. 
She owns two dogs. Okay. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Are you all right, sir? It'll come again. I will. I will die. What happened? The lower of death came to me last night. I know it will come again. Let's start from the beginning. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Could you describe last night's events for me? Uh, I'm Cole Seabrook. It was my mom, Brigitte. She came to me in the shape of a giant black rooster. Before that, some hit the wall outside. Then she came in. She took my will and she led me to the water. Perhaps you were dreaming? I wish I was. The great gator was there. It called me and I couldn't resist, but then the spell broke and I managed to crawl ashore. Interesting. I know how it sounds to an outsider, but it was the lower of death and it ain't finished with me. You mentioned a lower. What is that exactly? You outsiders only know one god. But there are many and we call them lowers. And Mamon Brigitte is one of them. She is the lower of death and life. She heals the righteous and punishes the guilty. Did you feel anything apart from fear last night? Yeah. The signs of Mammon's presence, no doubt about it. Everything became blurry, and my mouth was dry, and and the light became very bright. That is something. Interesting. So the Lore, also called Laura, Loi, or Spears, in the African this this diasporic religion of Haitian Vodou or Budo. Uh they have also been incorporated in some revivalist forms of Louisiana voodoo. Ah, so like voodoo and shit like that. That's cool. Nice. I'd never even heard of these things. These are, this is pretty interesting to me. Um, well, you know what? It looks like we have a, uh, a, another side mission to go through. And I think we can definitely uh, go through this one tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. We're only at like 46 minutes, but um, I think... Before we start something brand new, I want to go ahead and, you know, make sure we have enough time to actually go through the entire thing. So I say we'll go through this, uh, well, you know, in a brand new episode. So, whoo, man, big episode today, man. So, all right, thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.